Hi, David Hunter here with OA Systems. Today I'm going to go through how to set up an email notification when an action is triggered within Dynamics 365. So for this example, we're going to set up an email notification when a new a case has been created. So for this, we're going to go into the Customer Service Hub. And then we're going to go over to Cases to get started so we're all prepared and then we're going to head over to make.powerapps.com obviously log in and then select the correct environment you want to work in from there we're going to head over to flows on the left hand side and then come up to the drop down and we're going to go to automated cloud flow very good and then we can get started so flow name so this can be whatever you would prefer you can be quite direct so you know exactly what it is send an email when a new case is created and then from here we're going to if you just type in data that'll bring it up uh, the microsoft dataverse when a row is added modified or deleted and then we're going to hit create from there Very good. And then from here, the change type, we're going to select the first option, which is added. And then the table name, so where the trigger is coming from, it will be cases. And that will be there. So again, if you wanted a different example where you wanted an email notification to be sent when a new account is created, uh, same thing here, only the table name would be accounts as that's where the trigger would be coming from and then we want this to occur across the whole organization and then from there we're going to select new step and again we're still working out of the microsoft dataverse so we're going to click that and then go down to get row by id and then we're going to select users And then we're going to get the owner value. So the owner ID value. And then hit next step. So now we're here to set up the email connection. So as you get more familiar, you'll know what to type, but you can literally type send an email. And you can see there's the option that we want of Outlook, but you can type things like Outlook and it will provide options. Um, or also you can see in the top there, Microsoft Teams. Uh, so if you rather that an email wasn't sent, but you'd rather a, a, a Teams notification, then you can also set up that um, as an option. But for this example, we're going to select send an email. And here we go into the email. So we will go over here to add dynamic content and then we're going to select the primary email. So that way, as the owner gets designated or assigned um, a case, it will trigger to send to that email. So the subject. Uh, can be anything that you like, a new case created. And then you can also add things um, that you want to appear. So it might be the, the case title. So that'll come up in the subject and then we can say hi. And again, to make it more personable, we can get their first name. And again, this is all optional, whatever relevant information that you feel is necessary. So you can see, I'm just typing a new case has been created. Please contact them. And then again, we can add additional relevant information. Uh, so it could be the case number that could be helpful. We might want to add 
again, you might want the, the case title and the body of the email as well. So you're not referring back to the title. We may want to add a phone number. And again, you can have a feel for what relevant information is necessary. Once we're happy with the body of the email, then we simply select save. And now that that's saved, then we can come over and test it out. So we will, for the first run, we'll select manual, the manual option, and then test. And then you can see here, we've now got to trigger the starting point. So we'll come back into cases and we will go a new case. And I'll just use the example new case. And it could be a service, the customer, and again, any other relevant information necessary you can add in here. And then we can see it's under Bruce Wayne. We may want to assign this to someone else in the business. So it could be Joe Blogs, Joseph Blogs, and then we'll select that. And now we're all happy. So now as soon as we hit save or save and close, this email will be triggered. So if we go ahead and click save and close, that'll create the case and it will be going under our Joseph Blogs cases. Well, that saves. There we go. Then we'll come back into Power Apps. And then in the background, the triggers will be firing. And here we go. So you can see the first two steps are completed and then the fourth step, the email has been sent. So that's how you can ultimately set up email notifications from actions triggered from Dynamics 365. I hope this has been helpful. If you've got any questions, feel free to get in touch. Thanks very much.